Young Dolph, how you feeling, man? Man, I'm chilling. I'm nigga, chilling. I, see, I see you in Harlem more than the drug dealers, man. Oh, man, don't start, man. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, my nigga. See, yeah, I know they're my people, they're my niggas now. Drug dealers, the scribbles, the baby kids, let's the ghetto go. kids, all this shit. Yo, let's let's get right into it, man. Before we talk about Rich Crack Baby. Great title, my nigga. Right. We we last week we had a youngster up here. I don't know if you've seen the video. He gave you mad praise. And the realest shit he said was, you should have been on that double XL cover. Um, Real G shit. What, what what's your thoughts on that, man? Just because you have a crazy history, but he didn't say nothing bad about you. The hey. footage is out, and he said you should have been on that double XL cover. How you feel about that, man? I don't want to talk about the who, man. What about the double XL? You know though, what I'm man? saying? Like, it ain't even, it's, it's all that shit fake. You know what I'm saying? A little dude don't even know me, so all that shit fake. He don't, he can't conversate about me. He could, just let him do his, do what he whatever he doing. You know what I mean? The thing is, Dolphin, yo, got it. You know what I mean? He trying to run, yo, got it, trying to run and put his artists out there. You know what I mean? Let him use my name to build him up some buzz and all that fake shit. But I don't want to talk about that, bro. The only reason is because we know the history. Let's sidetrack all that bullshit. <laughs> but he said you should have been on that cover. That's how a lot of people feel. I should have been on there like three, three years, years ago, ago, four yeah, years ago. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't know disrespect to nobody on none of the, the covers because a lot of my homies, and I, I rock with a lot of them and all that. But, you know, you know what I mean? Like, man, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody doing what Dolph doing right now. I used to say even out in my city, like, nobody never did how I did. But ain't nobody mm. never did how I did it, period, in the game, bro. You know what I mean? Like nobody, ain't nobody never got up to no thirty, forty thousand a show and never sold no, not you no know, in like you ain't. It's your record label and you the artist and you doing all of the everything. You know what I mean? Ain't no, ain't nobody doing that. Nobody never did that. Like, how did you get to that point? Cause you got this video up on Instagram, you and your your Rari. Right. You, you talk, I watched it. Oh, that's it. a 488 Ferrari, too. Mm. I made all them rappers take them old ass 458s back. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a different level you know talking I mean? right like, here. I man. did that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I did that, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. With no, ain't, ain't no advanced checks, label mm. checks, no none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you know what I mean? I'm in my own lane. I'm in my own, I ain't in my own lane, bro. I'm on my own expressway. Mm. You know what I mean? So, it just is what it is, but like real talk, like I got here when I'm, the, how I got my position, bro, working hard, staying consistent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just, just doing what I do. You feel what I'm saying? Like before, like early in my career, I'm my first start rapping. You know what I mean? I was like, shit, don't nobody owe me nothing and don't nobody know me. I'm finna get ready to go out here and go crazy. What you finna do, dog? What you, what's, what's, what's what? How you gonna do it? Shit, I'm finna get ready to put out this tape. I'm gonna see if they even like it. I put out a first tape, just bullshit, me and my homies just like in the car freestyle, and they like, bro, you need to drop a tape. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm like, shit, ain't nothing. Here, go do it, blah, blah, blah. Go put it together, put it out. That shit got, it ain't, I, like, I was doing it for the hood, but the city caught fire. So I went, regrouped, did another tape, and got for real with it. I'm like, I'm finna rap, bro, you know what I mean? Man, I put out a tape, went and bought a brand new coupe, you know what I mean? That year off the showroom, like, this is what I've been doing now. You yeah. know what I mean? This ain't no, I ain't talking about right now, last year, year for that, year for that. No, this is what I've been doing. You know what I mean? Mm. This 2010 when Dolph World came out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Dolph had the new V Coupe. Dolph had the real Brightland, real ice. Dolph had real deal. Like, all this, like, a lot of niggas fake it till they make it. I don't, we ain't, we ain't getting down like that. We ain't doing that shit over here. You know what I mean? Like, it's real deal. Like, it's paper route business. When I say that shit, I paper mean that route shit. Paper Let's go. You yep. know what I mean? And it's just early in my career. Later in my career, you know what I mean? I got to linking up with different people. You know what I mean? Like, just, just you know what I mean? Just different shit going, getting the features, the dish, the debt, the dish, the debt. 
Now I mean, they ain't never had management. I got with management. I started fucking with street execs. I started doing certain shit and working with them because my boy was over there two chains, and it's just we always mm -hmm. been fam. Now I mean, mm -hmm. so it like my whole thing is man to focus on me, do what I do, and the people around me know my vision. Now I mean, they want the shit as bad for me as then I want the shit for myself. Cause they know where I come from They know what I'm doing They know like shit Nigga ain't nobody Doing this what you doing Like bro you been making All this history We can keep on making history That's what all the people That's around me Definitely Your powers Alright You had said You seen someone get shot When you was nine Like What, what? Shit real talk Know what I mean I was in the shit In my grandma's house mm -hmm. Who raised me In Castalia In South Memphis You know what I mean Like shit It's, 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 it's raining outside Know mm -hmm. what I mean Niggas running, and I mean up the street, nigga, the drive by, da 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 da. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. She was like, "Damn," you know what I mean? She, it's the whole street, my whole street, just like, "Damn," you know what I mean? Yeah. She, I run down there trying to see what it was, like, what, what happened? I said, "Shit," when go see this shit, like, "Damn," go back to the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it just, shit, it's nothing. You know what I mean? That ain't shit, like. All this shit, man. Like my, my cousins done showed me. I done sat in the kitchen, you know what I mean, with my goddamn cousin and they like, man, come sit down here. Take this uh uh moon pie. Y'all ain't y'all know what moon pies is up here in New York? But them motherfuckers, they some little they some little pies that you eat and shit. You look yeah. at ghetto kids, little motherfuckers ain't got shit like <laughs> them the cheapest <laughs> little cakes you can get. Like you can buy plenty of them motherfuckers in the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like here, take this moon pie. I'm eating the moon pie. Mm. Shit, my watching my cousin cook crack. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this time, like this shit, I was what, probably about seven, six. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, not to mention, got down right up the street, around the, like my mom and dad house up the street, and they own that shit. You see what I'm saying? So. Man. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's just, this shit for real. You know what I mean? I done came from the worst and the bottom and being around the worst and the bottom and, and dealing with this shit to, like, man, I'm finna get ready to get out here and get it. I'm finna change I mean, my situation, it, my family situation, everybody around me situation. It's just, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We got business to take care of out here, man. Like, you felt you had to, like, do, a, I know you had preach, but, like, you know niggas in New York always hating shit. Right. You, you had the record with uh, Colonel Lau. Right. That shit. Went Through the roof, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Then you had Cut It went out of here. Mm -hmm. Out of here. All featured. You felt you had to like bring your own singles on this new album, this new record. Oh, uh, the new shit crazy. The new shit yeah. hard. You know what I'm saying? Like um, shit. It's it's it's. I just make music. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. let the people just do what they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause even after preach, behind preach, it was pulled up. You know what I mean? That shit mm -hmm. charted. That shit went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like the folks love it. Video super crazy. You go look at it right now. You know what I mean? Like ain't none of these artists spending no fifties and sixty thousands on videos, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? No like more. that's what yeah. I'm doing. That's what Dog doing though. That's what probably a few major artists do. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody spending no forties, fifty, sixty. Like they ain't doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's what we doing. You know what I mean? Paper wrap business. You know what I mean? Go look at my videos. And look at everybody else's videos. Look at Dolph swag. Look at his girl. Look at everybody else's swag. Look at their gear. You know what I mean? It's a so, big difference, homie. It's a real big difference. It's a big difference, homie. Um, you, you got a lot of success musically, financially, and visibly. Any plans to sign with anybody? I ain't got no plans to sign with nobody, but you know what I mean? There's negotiation going on. I mean, like shit. That's just common sense, really, though. Cause mm. I'm about my paper. I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm constantly putting out hot projects after hot projects. Every mixtape, everything I put out, sound like an album. Yeah, that's you know a fact. I mean? So it's like shit. I'm like, let's get it. Let's get this money. But it got to be, you know, it cost money to do business with dog. Yeah, because <laughs> the way you grind so hard for like your your brand and who you are. Like, did anybody ever try to jam you up for money, get you to sign any faulty contracts, anything like that? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... Nah. Because you, like, you turn... Like, you're valuable. Like, you got the star potential. I see people say, you got the fucking dolphin around your neck. <laughs> right. Like, that's that's beautiful shit, my nigga. Right. Especially out here in New York. Niggas, I don't know what these niggas wearing, but, like, to live that <laughs> life, I can only imagine the numbers niggas is throwing at you. Like, yo, just sign for 90000 Hell no, nah. ain't nobody. There's one thing ain't nobody never came with me with. Like ain't nobody never came at me with, with no bullshit numbers, no bullshit. Like some shit that's what you. What's the word for that shit? Um, 
dis it ain't disrespectful, but what's the other word for that shit? I can't think of, but it like disrespectful. Like ain't nobody, ain't nobody never came Low to me boy. with no no mm -hmm. like bullshit. Why I be like, man, come, like, come on now, you know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah, you know what I mean. So they like the ninety thousand, hundred thousand, all that shit. They don't come to me with that kind of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? When you look at Dolph, you see M's. M's. You know what I mean? like, Let's go. You, shit. Oh, cut the talk check. About, you um, can't do that. Talk about when you did the uh, the Welcome Home Gucci concert. Oh, that's my brother, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Real talk, like that's that's my dog. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like Gucci, like might be. He that one nigga brother that ain't showed me, goddamn it, he ain't fearing my come up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of folks, they uh, they don't they ain't as noticeable and, and outstanding with it as other artists, but. They they show me little slick shit that they be like, you know what I mean? They hate yeah. no nigga they like, oh damn, I got damn this nigga's on my level. He, damn, you know what I mean? Like hold on, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? They like they yeah, they, they yeah. show me that without them trying to show me that. So mm -hmm. I peep game and the shit. I just take that shit myself and go on, keep doing what I'm doing, and you know, it like the same time, like I gotta realize this shit a competition. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this shit is a competition. That's in every job, every business, every everything. You know what I mean? Like shit, wherever you go, wake up and go to work. Man, it's competition. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be better, bro. You got to try to go hard. If you ain't trying to go hard, then the nigga sitting across from you, side to you, or in another room and all that shit, are you playing? Yeah, it's over for you. How you get to the top? You got to try to be the best, bro. Um, any like incredible dope stories with you and Gucci? Nothing, no, no crazy industry. Like anything like dope? Like yo, man, he threw a chicken wing out the window or something. You know what I mean? Man, that shit was every day with uh, Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> that shit like was every day. That, what's the first thing that pops in your mind like a dope m memory, yo? Um, I don't know, bro. It's just all oh, so much shit, shit every day. You know what I mean? From the script club shit to the studio shit to the shopping shit to the we we geeking type <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it, every day. Anything happened in the strip club? You was just like you and Goo. I'll be like, the fuck is going on over <laughs> here? Like. Man, we rich, whatever. <laughs> no. See, the thing about Gucci, like, like everybody think Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Atlanta, Atlanta. Oh, Magic City, Magic City, mm -hmm. Magic City, Magic mm -hmm. City. Yeah. I pull up in Atlanta in my V coupe. <laughs> Talk it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gucci, like, they go to the script club. We pull up to the script club. We at Club Blaze on the east side. <laughs> Hood let's, motherfucker. Let's go. That's that's you know what, what we live for. The hood shit. <laughs> no difference. You know what mm, I mean? Like it was just, this shit. It just, you know. Like I remember. That's like how I felt when I went to my first strip club in North Miami, and I'll never forget it. The bouncer looked at me. He said, "Yo, all the bitches in here is bad, but ninety percent of them tested for sun. So you, you on your own. Figure it out." And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> this North Miami, Opa Locker, one of them areas. And I was like, oh, fuck it. I said, I think that light skin so chick right there. You can't go to the goddamn script club ready to fuck them bitches. I ain't trying to hit them hogs. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to hit them hoes in the script club. Man. Why not? Hell no. He said, hell no. Why not? Why do? <laughs> <laughs> shit, hell no. How do you deal with the groupies then? Because you know. Yeah, you just came off this big ass tour. How oh, many my, cities was it? Like 50 oh, or something yeah. like that? How many cities we did? We're like 20 cities, yeah. and they trying to do a second half. They want to do a second half, a second oh, run. That's what's up, man. Um, I shit. seen some video in Texas where you had came out, you had the chicks throwing the rose petals and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, talk yeah. about this. <laughs> yeah. My boy set that up, man. Shout out my boy Al. That like, he did that's whole, like coming to America. Whole, yeah, this shit was lit. We did that like every city we went to. We had the, the rose petal girls come out throwing the rose petals. You know what I mean? That was That's the intro, great. you know what I mean? Like, you know, oh, we, kinda, we kinda, my the dog, just walked in. the man <laughs> just walked in, you did. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, what's up, yeah. man? My nigga. Uh, hey, I've been trying to meet this goddamn fella for so long, <laughs> man. And I don't even try to meet nigga. Y'all just heard what we were just talking about. Yeah, I know. You know what I, mean? I came in this shit like, fuck everybody. I ain't, this one nigga I've been wanting to meet, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, for real, for real. Like, what's the, what's, how did he influence your career? Was the 50 cent, right? The shit from the get go. You know what I mean? Bet. It's not going, you can't stop it from happening. Like, motherfuckers will look and try to prolong the shit. Mm hmm. But it's going where it's going anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's like when, when you heard him on the record, when it was like a feature, yeah. and it felt like it was his fucking record. Because it stood out so much that it, it tones on the record. You 
YouTube clips and everything was there. Like that, mm -hmm. that to shit that was just there. Music that was just, it wasn't all music videos and stuff, it was like tapes. Like stuff off of tapes that you had. Performing in the clubs yeah, and yeah, shit in the like car. That. Just different shit. Check that shit out. I was watching. <laughs> um, good shit. I'll, I'll, they'll tell you, I don't pop in. You don't see too many. Yeah, he don't, he don't pop in on interviews. <laughs> I, I'll tell you that as a fact, my nigga. <laughs> he be like, Yo, the fuck? who the fuck is these niggas, me? <laughs> hey, you know what they mean, man. <laughs> That's real G yeah. shit. You know what they mean, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of respect. You know what I mean? It's just like, shit. I respect 50, you know what I mean? I respect them on levels that I don't even look at rappers or artists or industry people to respect, you know what I mean? Cause this how I get down. I be ready, I be, a lot of people be be be, be having their feelings in this music shit and industry shit so much, I just be waiting on the bullshit. I be waiting yeah. on somebody to show me they fuck shit. <laughs> I be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be, I be, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm waiting on the, the, the fake shit, like all this, like, Niggas be having their feelings and shit, you know what I'm saying? So niggas be like, oh man, this rapper did this, or he did that, he did. That ain't your partner, man. What the hell you thought he was gonna keep it all the way 100 with you, mm. man? Like, you won't get that shit. It's just like in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think the streets finna keep it real with you, my nigga? Never. You know what I mean? Hell no, nah, man. It's gonna only be them few motherfuckers, you know what I mean? You're gonna run across that. You feel like, nigga, we finna get the world together. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. That's just how that shit go, man. If you could do a potential collabo, what would be the name of the potential single where you would? Oh, you gotta find the record. Oh, you gotta find. <laughs> 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 you know, but you know, it's just something organic. Like if you if you go to the studio and record something, you might just feel like that the the verse was enough. Mm -hmm. You just say like you said enough on the record and say I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go. And just make the call. Mm-hmm. make it happen. So now you know that that's what happened. Shit, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Shit, yeah. Y'all you know? yeah, heard right. that shit from Yo, the man. Yeah, man. You had niggas tight on 9 11, you know that, right? Because well, power didn't come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you tripping, man. You know that shit supposed to came on, man. <laughs> Yo, hey, niggas my, was like. Hey, my mama you know, waiting on this shit. Like, man, Fitty tripping. Matter of fact, she told me, nigga. You ever know, see Fitty tell him, hey, he tripping. Mama said, you tripping, man. <laughs> I told you, man. She said, you tripping, man. man. They own Sunday and they own Thursday now, man. Yeah, Sunday's the right, right time for TV, though. TV night. That's why I moved it from Saturday, because Saturdays, Mondays, like for a working class person, Monday through Friday they at work, Saturday, they go out, turn up, shit like that, Sunday, you know, they're trying to wind down mm -hmm. and get ready to go back to work again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, having, having the shit right out there at the house makes it a lot easier. I got to run this over there last time on the side of Brooklyn. I'm going to see y'all though, while y'all in the city, Fitting. running around. All right, play. When y'all leave? When y'all leave? I'm gonna leave tomorrow. I gotta go down to Atlanta get rid of his war shit. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. All right, man. Boom. Legendary moment. That nigga don't come in for interviews, dog. That's real G shit. <laughs> it, yo. I'll tell you off camera, niggas that came like, I don't give a fuck, son. I fuck, man. <laughs> I don't want to say niggas, off camera. Niggas be like, word? Like, word, like, you, <laughs> niggas, you know. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, him no. Oh, he got the number one. I don't give a fuck. Oh, fuck you and fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Young Dolph, man. Shout out to 50, man. Half a motherfucking dollar. Yo, Rich Crack Baby, what can people expect from this project, man? Shit, you pull that shit up. Let that motherfucker play begin to end it. Rich Crack Baby. You know what I mean? Shit, it's self-explanatory, really. You know what I mean? Crack baby. You know what I mean? What a crack baby want to do when they come to this world? Shit, they want to eat, my nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> they want to eat everything, man. You know Just want to flood the streets, and man. You think they going to ever get satisfied? Never, man. Nothing. You know what I mean? Hell no. Nah. Oh, my nigga Thorough. Yo, he <laughs> said he been one to me. you. Hey, what's up? Yo, yo where'd you just come from? We posted oh, goddamn oh, got up. You, oh, we posted. You just, yo, any questions you want to ask? No, go ahead. I'll, I'll jump in in a minute. <laughs> All right, man. And Dolph, man, what do you want to leave the people on, man? Yo, oh. You got Shit. this whole room shaking, my really, nigga. Really, man. It's the Dolph, man. Hey, go get you some money. You know what I mean? Go get all the money you can in the world. Take care of your kids if you don't do shit else. If you don't take care of your kids, I can't fuck with you. You lame. You're a buster. Take That's care of your whole shit. family. I don't give a damn. Mama, daddy, I don't give a fuck. They never gave you shit. You know what I mean? You ain't all that shit. Go take care of everybody, man. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Get you some paper. Yeah, one more, one more. That, uh, that viral video with that white kid like dancing to your record, 
You like, oh, you talking about that? We gonna get this money? money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. How how did you first see that? And like, what was the reaction that you seen off of it? Cause that was oh, kind of crazy. I think my little brother or my cousin showed me. No, 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 no. Who showed me? Yeah, my little brother showed me that shit. It was crazy. It was. It was that shit. You still see that shit everywhere yeah, right now. Yeah, that's when Vine was lit. Yeah, like. I ain't never make a vine. I ain't never get on vine. <laughs> I never had vine. Yeah. I, never, I, I don't know what vine looked like or nothing. Yeah, Man, nobody kids. had tons of views, like millions, millions of views. <laughs> Some kid just dancing to his record. You seen that shit? Yeah. Nah, you talking about the other one? You talking about uh, yeah, get paid? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yo, Dolph. Before we close this out, Rich Crack Baby. Any, any female out there in the industry you would like to say hello to <laughs> or let or any chick you'd be like yo i'll, I'll let you wear my dolphin chain <laughs> uh-uh, he said uh-uh. Yeah, nah. <laughs> not one yo, he's been trying to set niggas up with this question for like the last five weeks yeah has uh. said no no <laughs> Zay damn my dm no. <laughs> 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 he said hit the dm hit the D- damn my dm oh oh the famous bitches yo yo look <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's go back. All right, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. on. All right, now. DJ we Thorough. Thorough just, in the building. Yeah. Yo, get on the mic. Just oh, sorry. Pull. I got two questions for Dolph. This Because I'm a music dude. I'm about the music. So, oh, yeah. all right. coming up in Memphis, other than fucking, um, you know, 3 Six Mafia, Project Pat, and all them, I, I noticed you was a big Jay Z fan. Hell whatever. yeah. You got, and another thing, you got any relatives in New York? Because you look like a, a down south New York nigga to me. The way you like your he, he stay in Harlem in your stay, hood. Stay fresh. You gotta be like, you gotta have some cousins mm. from Harlem or something. <laughs> you know, nigga. You nah, know, it's just. And I, and I see his style. Bless, like, Yo, this I just gotta have some New York influence in him. Yeah, I do. I got a lot of New York influence in me. I ain't got no fam up here though. My whole thing is just. I just always dig the New York shit. You know what I mean? Right, when right. I was little as fuck, I think coming to America fucked me up. I think, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I like, the roses. I think, I think, I think, I think coming to, I think coming to America fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? But no, I ain't got no fam up here. It's just that whole New York shit. You know what I mean? This shit, this shit lit up here. Y'all don't know what y'all got up here, man. I know, I know what we got. I know what we got. I definitely know what we got. And another thing, I know the game is um so, not supposed to be told, but how did you get to this point independently with no help, no record deal, no mm. nothing? Because to me. I mean, I don't, I don't like to toot my horn, but I'm like, a, I, I, I don't call myself, I'm not like you, but I'm like, a, I'm like with the DJ shit, I'm mm-hmm. independent. Like, yeah. niggas drive foreigns. I never had no help. Yeah. I never had, nobody helped me do shit. And yeah. niggas still can't figure out how I'm driving this type of shit or how I'm doing this type <laughs> of shit. Yeah, he got the deep dishes for you real, gotta, nigga. You gotta, my whole thing is, no matter what, you gotta stay hungry. Right. No matter what, you gotta keep a close relationship with God. No matter what, you gotta stay humble. You know what I mean? Right. And no matter what, you gotta stay consistent. You right. know what I mean? And no matter what, you can't be scared to spend paper. Let's go. And no matter what, man, don't spend your money on the wrong shit. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know when it's time to spend their money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know. All right, that's what it that's is. Great. Cap 